What's going on guys? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install custom firmware to most Nikon digital SLR cameras. First up you're going to need a few things. Obviously you're going to need a compatible Nikon digital SLR. You'll also need a high quality memory card, a computer and a memory card reader. Okay, so on the computer the first thing you need to do is create a new folder on the desktop and name it something like D3200FW. This is just so it's easy to remember. Once you've done that, open up your web browser and locate the stock firmware for your camera from Nikon's website. Once you've found it, scroll down to the bottom of the page. If you're on Windows, right click on the Windows download button and go save as. For Mac users, hold down the control key and click the Mac download button and then choose save as. We are now going to save the file to the folder we just created on the desktop. Once it's finished, close your browser and open the file we just downloaded. On Windows, it'll automatically extract into the same folder. On Mac, however, it'll open up as a new drive. All we have to do is simply copy the .bin file into our firmware folder. Now we're going to open the web browser one more time and we're going to go to the Nikon Hacker online patch tool. Now click select firmware and navigate to our camera's firmware.bin file and click open. Depending on your camera the options to see may be different but for mine I have a few options. The first one allows more languages as it states there. Now these other options are what I'm interested in. Stock, the D3200 and many other cameras record video at a bitrate of only 24 megabits per second. Basically meaning the video comes out a bit blocky sometimes. What these patches here do is set the bitrate much higher, allowing for better video quality. The first two options change the high quality setting in the camera, normally 24 megabits per second, to a higher rate, but it keeps the stock low quality setting of around 10 or 15 megabits per second. The last three options are a little bit more practical. They change the high quality setting to a higher rate and also change the low quality setting to a bitrate of 24 megabits per second. Some firmware has more options such as increased recording time limits and allow the use of non-genuine batteries. Now simply choose the option right for you and click save patched firmware. Name the firmware anything you like. Now close the browser and navigate to the folder where you saved the new patched firmware. Now plug your SD card into the computer and navigate to its root directory. Then simply copy the patched firmware onto the SD card. Safely eject the SD card and insert it into the camera. Another thing to note is the camera should be fitted with a fully charged genuine battery. Power on the camera and navigate to the setup menu. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and select firmware version. Select update and then choose yes. The camera will begin writing the new firmware to the internal flash memory. Do not touch the camera until it says so. The install can take up to 5 minutes. If all went to plan you should now have custom firmware running on your camera. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you liked it please like, favourite and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, it really helps me out. Also you can find me on Twitter and on my website, I'll put the links in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you in my next video.